Recently, I read a book called Chains by Laurie Hell Sanderson. The novel is about a girl named Isabel who is a slave during the Revolutionary War and was sold to a slave owner in New York. In the story, Madam, who is the wife of the slave owner, had sold Isabel's sister, Ruth. Isabel needs to escape with a new friend to find her sister. They must work hard without giving up to achieve what they want. In the novel, the girl Isabel used to be a slave owned by Miss Mary Finch, who was kind and polite. But after her death, she was sold to a loyalist couple. The Locktons treated Ruth and Isabel badly and sells Ruth. Isabel is devastated, but she has a new friend that could help her. Soon the friend gets sick and something has to be done. And they persistently keep going and helping each other and they know what they have to do. So I think the author wants other people to know that you should be persistent for what you want. Because Isabel wanted to escape and find her sister. And she keeps working hard and she'll reach her goals. Another book I read is called Unbound, which is a novel in verse. It has a similar plot with a slave family who needs to escape. They also kept going without giving up and manages to escape. That was a good novel, too. Chains also made me feel worried and excited. Like, I kept thinking, like, when's Isabel going to escape? Especially because I read this for a book club, so I was even more impatient. I would have liked to read it in two or three sittings because it had me captured and excited for the end of the book. I really enjoyed Chains because it had lots of suspense, danger, and excitement. The author gives hints to what might happen, especially like when a major problem or a crazy event is coming up soon. If you're someone who likes suspenseful books with strong-willed characters, I suggest you try it. Also, if you enjoy historical fiction books, you may also like it. It's a higher-level novel for elementary-level students with a good plot. I think you'll love it.